Montana State earned the eighth seed in a bye week in the 2021 FCS playoffs, and instead of choosing to use their time to relax, the team was out in the Gallatin Valley volunteering at different places around the community on Tuesday. That's a great team bonding opportunity. Um, you know, we also don't have school this week, so, you know, it just kind of everything adds up, and I think it's just a great week, especially Thanksgiving. I know a lot of families, you know, might not be as fortunate as some other people on the team, and we'd like to try to, you know, help however we can. A community that throws their support behind the program almost 24-7. It was the team's way to give back, especially before the holiday. The players volunteered at the warming center, the food bank, the HRDC, stadium facilities, and at Habitat for Humanity in Belgrade. Being in our games, just supporting us, uh, you know, every day of the week as a student athlete, and uh, it means a lot to us. And obviously, you know, we, we wanted to be able to give back, and, and this is a great opportunity for us. The volunteers at the food bank were more than thankful to have the help of the players. It's just such a boost of energy for our staff, for sure, and the other volunteers, because we've been going at it pretty hard. And the fact that they're willing to volunteer, and it's important to the coach for the team to volunteer, and our community, it's, it's pretty cool that way. It also takes hours off their time to have the players there helping. However, Malat wants people to remember the volunteers that are there every day are the ones who deserve the recognition. But these guys are the real heroes. They're doing this every single day. You know, this is their this is their job, but they're not getting paid for it. You know, they're very uh, altruistic and, and uh, giving up a lot of their time for or for the greater good of the community. With players throwing turkeys into the freezer and lifting heavy logs, I had to ask: Is there any player that you think looked the strongest? I am not going to tell. <laughs> In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.